what's going on everybody welcome back again to a brand new tutorial my name is Angelo from caps on fire and in today's video I will be giving a review slash tutorial on one of the best product mock-ups you can have that is currently on the market all right and that will be hands down the mug animator all right so before we jump into this video I need you all to do two things for me all right the first thing I need you to do is click the subscribe button down below that way you will be notified whenever I upload any brand new content secondly I need you to click on the description and join our Facebook group all right in this group we cover everything dealing with sublimation from um, to live tutorials giveaways uh, advice and help with uh, your printer um, different troubleshoot methods you can do to fix certain issues that you may or may not run into just a bunch of ton uh, like a, a ton of things that you're not really gonna get in any other group alright so definitely click the description and join our Facebook group alright so let's get into it the very first thing you want to do is click on your internet browser I recommend Google Chrome go to your search bar and type in mug animator dot com press enter and here you go all right so when you download this you can download it for free however when you download it for free you're limited as to what you can do with the free software all right but once you try out the free software I guarantee you you will have no problem buying this software at all all right it is completely worth the price okay so once you pay for or once you download and you test it out and you like it and pay for it and get the product key the very next thing you want to do is you'll uh, type in your product key or any information you have into your mic animator and you will be good to go so once you download it just click here mug animator for me I have a Windows version if you have a Mac version you will click here I click here I open it up and this is what you want to change okay your screen resolution it depends on how big your screen is um that he do have a few uh, sizes that you can choose from but in my case I can choose the 17 uh, 1768 by 992 of course windowed graphics quality fantastic and select a monitor for me it'll be display monitor one majority of people just have one monitor so that shouldn't change at all it'll just have one option right here after that click play here we go wonderful intro I love the intro so as soon as you open up this is everything that will appear okay and if you buy the version you can click right here to this key button and you can enter in your key for your mug animator pro all right after that you can pr it's pretty much self-explanatory okay down here you have three different categories which will be kitchenware which will be mugs plates different items that you would you know typically have in your kitchen after that will be clothing and fabrics which includes socks hats shirts uh, jerseys different items like that in this category and then you have miscellaneous which will be like um uh, photo uh, slates like the photo rock slates or things like that of that nature all right so for instance let's do this coffee mug that's already up first thing I would do is I will click load and I will go to my image so for me my image is right here click open and bam it put it right there on the mug and let's say I want to slide it over some because I don't like how it's real close on one end and not as close on the other end it's not centered at all so to center it I can just grab this and slide it to the middle or I can grab this handle right there and I can slide it out some and then that'll stretch it out and fill up the whole coffee mug all right fill up the whole area and all I'm doing right now to have this coffee mug spin around I'm just clicking down on my mouse and I'm dragging it all right so I'm uh, left clicking and then dragging the mouse and it'll spin it around for me or I can come down here and press play and then it'll automatically rotate for me I can slide this bar up to increase the rotation speed or I can slide it to the left and I can slow down that rotation which is awesome so after here you do have a 
couple other options as well. Let's say I don't like how this is just pulled out like this. All right, it's too stretched out for me right here. Even though it's showing up perfect on my mug, I don't like how it's stretched out right here. So I can come down here to editor, click that, and I can change the size of my canvas. All right, so for this coffee mug, let's say this is a 15 ounce coffee mug, right? We'll double click on this and the width of it, let's say is gonna be 8.25. Well, in centimeters, that would be 22 centimeters. And then for the height, it would be 4.75 inches, but that translates over to around 12, 12 centimeters high. I'm sorry. The width would be not 22, it would be 21. So 21 uh, centimeters for the width and 12 centimeters for the height. And press create. Press load artwork. Load. And there you go. It shrunk it down. Okay, so it took off the, the, the sides, but it's still stretched out across the whole cup, which is exactly what we want. All right. And another great thing about this software is I could select background and choose set background. Scroll down to the original image I had, which is right here. Press open and it will automatically add that image right here to the back. All right. And the reason it turned the background black is because that image has a transparent background. If that background was a solid white or solid blue or solid orange or whatever color it was, that would transfer over to the back as well. All right. So after that, let's say, you know what? I like this image, but I want to put it on something different. Well, you can come down here to kitchenware and you can click on another cup. Click on this cup. You can click on as many items as you want and it will not get rid of your image where you have to keep uploading and keep uploading. It'll automatically sh uh, shape shift that image to fit whatever item you're doing, especially this one. I like this one. It'll change the color of the mug. And that's typically when you add hot water to these color changing mugs, that is what effect that it will give off, which is awesome. Got the soccer mug. So let's say, let's say a soccer season and a mother or a father definitely wants this cup. All right. And, but they want to see the finished product or how it's going to look. Okay. And the reason why I recommend people use a software like this is because you don't want to waste any uh, product or time on making an item that they don't know if they're going to like it or not. So you want to give them the best type of um, visual presentation through a video like this or a picture. So that way they can see it. They can be like, okay, I approve of that. And then you can carry on with actually making the physical item. So once you have it done, we can just go right here to you have a few different options all right you can do a screenshot which will pretty much take a picture of what's right here you can do a mp4 which it will save this as a video and then you can do a gif which will kind of save this as a moving picture now in my opinion i recommend doing the mp4 and the reason i say that is because mp4 you can use that on facebook and you can use that on instagram as far as GIF, you can't use GIF on Instagram. You can use it on Facebook, but it will not move or anything like that on IG. Okay. And if we're using this mug and mug animator pro, I, uh, Instagram is pretty much everything that's going to be picture or video based picture or short video based, which is why I recommend only saving this stuff in the MP4 format. So once you have that done, you can just click MP4. You can change it. I mean, you can save it as multiple qualities or different qualities. Um, I always recommend the highest one. We can click high and then you can choose the duration of your spin. How many complete rotations do you want to have? Do you want to just have one rotation, three rotations, five, ro five rotations? It all depends on your preference, but just know that each, rot each rotation is going to take longer, so therefore it may take up more space on your computer or within your phone whenever you try to post it up or anything like that. All right. But in our case, 
I'm gonna just do five spins and I'm gonna save it on the desktop and we'll just call it Zen AF mug and click save but yes I really really like this program all right if you want to download this program I will have the link down in the description below also when you join our Facebook group you can contact Paul P A U L uh Trubowski, I believe it starts with a T R E just reach out to him and he will be more than happy to assist you with setting it up and showing you pretty much all of the ins and outs and uh troubleshooting methods or anything or any type of questions you have dealing with this software all right so it is now finished and it should be saved to our computer all right it's now done we saved it to the desktop so i can minimize that here's the video Double click on the video. Here we go. And here's the video. All right. High resolution quality and it's pretty much playing seamlessly. All right. So that's why I love this because you can give your customers a visual representation of what the finished product should look like. So once we're done with that, what we want to do is we want to create a PDF. All right. We want to send it out to our customer so they can see, you know, what is it going to look like? How much is it going to cost? Um, just all the stuff, you know, all the stuff dealing with the custom printing business. So let's say the customer is. Let's say. Christina. Christina Williams, her company is actually not made. Let's say, ooh, spelling, <laughs> creations by CW. Her address is 123 Fake Street, Atlanta, GA 30303. Contact number 678-770-4700. Postal code, let's just say 30303, same thing. Email is creations by cw at gmail.com. Product info, so the product name is the coffee mugs. All right, so coffee mug, 15 ounce. The product price, let's say it was, let's say it was $12. And let's just see, $12 per mug. So we're going to see if it's going to multiply the 12 by whatever quantity that we put in. All right, the artwork charge, we charged her $50 for the artwork. Product quantity, let's say she ordered two dozen. Product size, we're gonna just leave that blank. Other info, leave that blank as well. Payment info, she paid, let's say, Cash App. Notes, we'll leave that blank. Order number, let's say she's 010, order number 10. And then we'll click on print, and it will save this bill as a PDF. So, desktop. We'll do Christina Williams. And click save. Here it is. It saved it as a PDF. So now I got her name, her company name, phone number, email, postal code, her address. The product was the 15 ounce coffee mug. The price was US dollars and was 
artwork charge was $50. She ordered 24 of them. So now it gave us the total, okay? So yes, it did multiply the price of each product by the quantity and then it added the artwork charge as well and gave us the correct amount, which is awesome. Payment information she paid via Cash App or you can do PayPal or whatever payment information that um you know what whatever payment method that she selected, you can type that in. Notes for customer, you can possibly put, you know what, we need approval. Um email us back for approval. You also have artwork approval and it'll take multiple snapshots of the image. All right, I love that as well. Terms and conditions, whatever you list down there. And that is it for this. So from here, you can just easily email this to the person. They will email you back saying, hey, I approve. And then that way you can go ahead and get started with actually making your physical coffee mug. We're just gonna exit out of this. It's gonna exit out of this. Pull it back up. Click back. And so that is pretty much it. All right. So let's say you want to go back to your other items. You have clothing and fabrics. You got hats, bags, shirts, shoes, socks, long sleeve shirts. Scroll all the way back to the other side. Then go to the last one. Then go to the last one, which is miscellaneous. And then you have all your options here as well. All right. So that pretty much wraps up the tutorial. That wraps up everything. I would like to thank all of you for tuning in. And I will see you all at a later date. All right. But before you leave out, please make sure to press the subscribe button down below. Also, click in the description, in the, in the description <laughs> to join our Facebook group. And we will see you when you get there. All right. I'll see you all later. Until next time, Angelo out. Oh, oh, oh.